My name is Andrew Davis and I'm the Founder and Chief Executive Officer of Unity Group Wales. The Unity Group is the governing organisation for the Unity LGBT Centre and the Unity Identity Centre. Uh, the LGBT Centre is pretty, what it says on the, on the label really, uh, it's a centre open for anybody that comes under the LGBT umbrella, being lesbian, gay, bisexual or transgender. Uh, um, they're all welcome, they just come here to the centre, if they've got any problems, we'll try and help them. And basically it's there for them to socialise and to meet people. Also as well, the identity centre, we were quite determined to actually keep that separate. The identity centre is specifically there for people who fall underneath the trans umbrella. Um, it could be transvestite, transsexual, gender, gender queer, gender, uh, gender fluid, non-binary. They're all welcome. Uh, they've all got, you know, needs some kinds of support, which we uh, we try and offer here, especially with the new group that we're launching now, which is the Break in the Binary, which is aimed at the people who I self-identify as being non-binary. Uh, hopefully, we're just here to give anybody that needs any support that little bit of support and uh, help that they might need. Swansea Sparkles in its fourth year now. Um, it's just got bigger and bigger. The very first year was down in the Brangwyn Hall, where the, the actual venue there was a little bit too big for our first year, and it did like we did like seem like little peas in the ocean. Then um, the, the second and third year, we actually moved to the YMCA. Uh, this year, now we've actually outgrown the YMCA, and we've actually moved to the Waterfront Museum. Um, this year we've got over 60 organisations attending. Um, I think we've got around 20 odd different retail uh, stalls that will be there. Uh, so it's, it's definitely going to be the most, the biggest uh, transgender event in Wales that's ever happened. Um, evening gala we've got lined up, we've got loads of entertainment uh, lined up for that. Uh, it's just going to be a really good fun day. Swansea Sparkle is meant to be a public integration um, event where people come along, learn what it is, uh, what we you know about people, somebody who is transgender, who comes under the trans umbrella, uh, and basically, you know, it's, it's, it's to stop all the myths that was originally out there uh, surrounding transgender people. With in, in, Wales, in Wales, there is a rough estimated figure that there's approximately 35,000 people living in Wales who self-identify as being transgender in some shape or form. Um, I think them figures alone speaks for itself why it's so important to have a sparkle in Wales. Um, not everybody's ever going to be, be able to make it up to um, Manchester. Uh, plus, with Swansea Sparkle being so late on in the year, in November, um, there is no other LGBT events going on around this time of year. Um, it actually gives people you know, something to look forward to and something to go, go to. And especially the trans community of Wales, it actually gives them something to look forward to and something to get involved with. <laughs> Last night there was uh, the Sparkle Curry Night, uh, which again is in its fourth year. Uh, it was fantastic, uh, great meal, great company, good laugh. Um, tonight is going to be the pre-sparkle party. Uh, that's going to be happening in OMG. Uh, there's going to be a drag queen there. and just it's, Again, it's just letting our hair down a little bit, if you had any. <laughs> uh, <laughs> to you know, All the hard work that we've actually put into organising this year's event. And just have a little bit of fun. And then, of course, on Saturday, during the day is the main sparkle event. Um, again, it's a public integration day where pe people can come in and actually find out and get information about what it is to be transgender. And in the evening then uh, is the gala night, um, the sparkle gala. And it's just going to be fun. Uh, lots of people um, making new friends, meeting up with old friends, and basically just having some fun. With regards to what's happening with the Unity LGBT Centre and the Unity Identity Centre, um, I must say that I am ever so proud of how 
the, 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 the centres themselves are actually coming along. Uh, I'm proud of the people that volunteer their time. Um, I can't thank them enough and I know that there's a lot of people that are actually coming for, the, for support and help. And if it wasn't for those people who were volunteering, um, that support and help would not be there available for these people. And it just goes to show, you know, that there is good people out there.